Hey, this is Neil Brackett, digital marketer at beginningnow.com. And if this is your first time on this channel, I'd like to encourage you to hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. I love some feedback down in the comment section. Of course, hit the red bell uh, so that you get notified whenever I leave further content on this channel. Uh, looking at questions that marketers face and what I want to ask you today, are you too emotionally attached to your opportunity? You know, if you absolutely have to like the product that you're selling, if you don't like the product that you're selling, then you need to find another product. But are you too emotionally attached to what you're doing that you find yourself trapped in a hamster wheel that you were trying to escape in the first place. I'll give you, for instance, one of the first opportunities I ever joined was a energy opportunity. And I found I spent an inordinate amount of time trying to figure out whether my potential prospects were in an area that where they were eligible to be a customer. And I found that the geographic restrictions on who could and could not be a part of my team was causing me to not be as successful as I would like to be. So I left that opportunity and found another opportunity again. And then, you know, somebody found out that I was in the energy market and they thought I would be a good prospect for somebody to sell solar. Problem with is in my state you cannot be a customer of, of the solar companies. Uh, it's just the way the regulations, the state, everything changes state by state by state. The other thing is in my state energy is cheap this opportunity works best in um, you know in the Northeast and out west where energy is really really expensive and I found myself spending hours trying to prospect people that were not good fits and 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 were very 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 skeptical and it was time to move on another thing that I looked at involved Finding products in China or finding products through distributors that you could turn around and flip on Amazon. That took an inordinate amount of time to find something that could be profitable that Amazon wasn't already selling. And believe me, you don't want to be competing with Amazon. Just like you don't want to be competing with Walmart. I mean, you're going to lose. And then you turn around and you pay all the fees to Amazon or, or whatever marketplace that you're, you're selling on. And then there's the customer service as people decide to start to return things. Okay? Don't become too emotionally attached to an opportunity that is a time suck because you do not want to be on the hamster wheel to no success. Find something and play to your strengths. If you're a good writer, you might want to look at funnels and being able to write headlines and being write, able to write emails. If you're a great conversationalist, then you want to look at finding free leads for a network marketing opportunity that you can work for a little upfront cost by having conversations through Messenger and, and, and meeting new people and play to your strengths. Play to your strengths and don't become emotionally involved in an opportunity that's got you on a hamster wheel to no success. If you like what I've had to say, I'd love some feedback down in the comments. Leave me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. And of course, check out the links that I've got in the description down below. If you like what I have to say here, you might want to follow me on other channels. And you might want to see just what I'm up to. You have a great day, and I'll see you again sometime on this channel. Thank you.